It started off, even though I made more money than those guys, I still was blessed and I appreciated them. I still treated them the same way mm -hmm. when I walked in the, you know, the How first How did they let time. you do that? What, what happened was, I'm going to tell y'all what happened. So I, I got, uh, Please, at, at the time, Michael Jackson had the, the biggest deal, which, you know, I always, I went, I went to college, so I'm, people know I'm from the hood, I'm street, but uh -huh. I went to college. I've always was an A and B student. Uh -huh. So uh, Michael Jackson, I researched back then, you know, you had to go to the library and research stuff. Right, so right. I found out who Michael Jackson's lawyer was, and I said, uh, uh, at the time, I said, what's the biggest deal? So he said, hey, I need twenty five thousand dollars, you know, for retainers to sit down. I said, okay. I went and got the twenty five when I came back. If I thought I was faking, but I come back with the twenty five. I said, yeah, man. I said, I said, what's the best deal I could get? He said, the only thing you could get besides the audit that Michael Jackson got twenty two percent is a, a distribution deal, right? Which would be an eighty twenty deal, but you're gonna need marketing promotion money. Uh. So I knew the type of marketing promotion money I needed. And, and I, I had to get back out there and sell my CDs, do whatever I need to do. So when I walked in there, the guy told me, yeah, you know, you're going to need 200000 for, like, marketing and all that stuff. I was like, okay, I got it. You know, but I was already prepared. Yeah. And so they thought I probably was going to sell maybe 10,000 records or something like that. No way. And when the ice cream man came back, you know, and I, and I sold so many records, you know, at that time it was NWA, Ice Cube. You know, those guys was like the biggest on their label. I think even Jay-Z was on their label at, at, at the time. Mm -hmm. And then I just started flooding records, you know. So the first the first Ice Cream Man went gold 500000 at $19 a CD or cassette. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Millions. <laughs> so, Millions. You know, but that's sometimes you got to take chances on yourself. I think, you know, a lot of people, they say they hustle, they say they're from the streets, but why is somebody else putting your music out if you're really on the street? I'm, these records I'm hearing, hearing, how you trapping and how you doing all this. Right, right, right. You know, you should be able to put your own music out. What's good? It's Timeless Rod with TR Mentality, man. Before we get into the video... Make sure y'all own your own shit. Now, before we go any further in this video, man, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Timeless Rock Music, and make sure you go ahead and share this video with anybody who can relate and need this information. Now, in this clip, we talking about how Master P paid $25,000 to learn about distribution deals. But man, people gotta start giving Master P his flowers, man. They gotta start respecting this man for the legend he really is in this music business. Because he was doing things with this independent vibe before it was even cool, like nobody was doing this type of stuff especially in hip-hop for an artist to have an 85 15 split was like unheard of you seen so many artists didn't own their masters they was getting pennies on the dollar they wasn't getting any real money on the back end of their music they was just getting these upfront advances and then they end up owing the label money forever because they writing off crazy shit and we ain't really gonna go too deep on that man y'all know how we get on this channel man we stand on independence but hey man we gonna go ahead and break down what this really meant so now distribution deals in this era obviously became damn they're extinct if you sign in the distribution deal you crazy at this point because the cost barrier to entry is so low right now in the music industry for distribution it's so affordable for an independent artists to get their music on all platforms like spotify apple music all that by using digital distributors like distro kid where you can get in for as low as 20 dollars a year and then you got unlimited uploads and you get paid 100 percent of your royalty so why would you go and sign a record deal obviously getting paid 100 percent beats 85 15 but this is back then so we're going to talk about the importance of what he did back at that time so back at this time when master p went ahead and did this distribution deal distribution cost was so expensive because you had to get all these cds and the tapes and all that stuff pressed up and that shit costed money to go ship it to the stores and all this you had to pay for breakage and all this other stuff so having these distribution deals was so important because they would put the money up front and then you just pay them they 15 percent because if you didn't have the money or you didn't want to put your own money up how was you going to go ahead and distribute your cds and your tapes for people to go buy your music but one of the things that master P spoke on in this video and what he learned from Michael Jackson lawyer is that just like distribution companies like DistroKid today you have to pay for your own marketing DistroKid and these distributors don't do any marketing for you so you got to do all your marketing yourself so if you didn't know how to do it this deal wasn't really going to help you out that much if you ain't know how to hustle and you ain't know how to market yourself as an artist and build your own brand this wasn't really going to work but if you knew how to market yourself as an artist like I always speak on I've been giving y'all my experiences on how I market myself as a music artist and how I've been building my brand on social 
social media make sure you go ahead and check out all my videos for that i'm giving a lot of tips these distribution deals were so powerful for you because obviously you get an 85 15 split you didn't have to put your own money up to print up your cds so you really was just marketing your music and then making your 85 percent i definitely know as an independent artist myself this distribution deal is something that i would have done back in the day as an independent artist in today's era i just signed up with distributors like distro kid and pay that little yearly fee and market my music on social media building my brand on youtube instagram tiktok and just taking advantage of the times we in if you somebody that's trying to build your brand on social media and market your music and market your business then you got to start making content and one of the best places to do that is right here on youtube man so i got a link down below called tube buddy it's a free download to a chrome extension that's going to give you the best titles for your videos the best tags and the best topics to speak on with the least amount of competition and it's going to help you grow your channel faster than everybody starting a youtube channel right now it's one of the biggest reasons why i was able to grow my channel from nothing to 10,000 subscribers in such a short period of time so make sure you go ahead and hit that link down below called tube buddy and i'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all on that note man make sure you go ahead and comment down below let me know your thoughts and go ahead and extend on the topic and make sure you go ahead and hit like on the video and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and i'm out of here man i ain't holding on i ain't holding on i just seen these niggas run through money till it's gone had to learn how to flip how to make these niggas sick why they posting all they flicks on the gram in the mix so sorry i'm a cool hustle. i remember not a dollar in my pocket had to make this shit work i was deep up in the dirt remember writing at the motel six i ain't complain i can never quit i'm the shit that's